What's up YouTube? Um, back with another unboxing and this is an HK45. I got this from Gunbroker last week or, or ordered it and I just picked it up from, from my um, I guess closest FFL and I mean just open it up. So don't, oh, until now I haven't owned a handgun that shot 45 and I kind of wanted to diversify the calibers because all my other handguns are 9mm so hey thought about hey let's try something different and I did I didn't shoot this I wanted to shoot this at my local gun range but I didn't have it all they had was a an HKP 30 and 40 and I did shoot that it was kind of snappy but it wasn't too bad so I thought hey if I could shoot that I could shoot 45 but it might become my new home defense weapon I'm not sure but we'll be taking it to the range eventually because I did buy a, um, a what do you call it, a 100, 100 round box of 45 from 50 bucks from um, Hyatt. That's in Charlotte, North Carolina. So we're gonna open this up and um, see. Well, I don't know if that matters, but it says PI. I'm not sure what that means. HK 45 V1, three 10 round mags, and that's for night sights. So not sure what SKU this is, but this did come with. Um, three mags instead of two. This is the manual or the this is the operator's manual for the full size and the compact. So the air. This is the extra back strap. I'm not sure if this is the medium or the large. Um, there's some O-rings which are on the barrel and a lockout key for the lockout functionality. I'm not gonna really be using that unless I like store it, but I'm not sure what size this one is, but we'll see. This is uh, another magazine, um, another HP magazine 10 rounds. Set that over there. Just scoot that over. Typical cable lock you get with most guns. And a uh, sticker. So I'm just going to set that right there. And here. Oh, I got four magazines. That's fucking incredible. Four mags. I think this is. Yep. Yeah, four mags. <laughs> so, one here, another one here, and another one inside the gun. Here it is. So, and you just, I guess, can use your. So, um, I'll have to figure out how I'm going to use either use my index finger, or trigger finger, or my thumb, depending on what back strap I'm using. But um, I think the small grip is on, I might use the medium, but. Three mags seem to be good quality. I think it was brand new, he said. So, um, let me sit down. So, here it is. This is the American version. Um, it does have a oh, it does have full night sights. I thought it had blacked out rears, but it has full night sights. I'm not sure if these are the Metro, these might be the Metro um, night sights. I'm not sure. No, these are um, XX, XS night sights. So, yeah, three dot config. I mean, I was thinking maybe the black three, three um, like a, uh, just a tritium night sight and a blacked out rear combat sight would be better for me, but these should be good too. Um, you got to see, you got the manual safety, um, got the hammer, you can just cock it. So now it's in single action mode and you can decock it like that. Hopefully that doesn't happen while I'm firing, so I don't accidentally decock it back to double action, but we can test out the trigger. So, it's in safe, fire, nice pull. All right, so in single action, eh, about as heavy as the P30s, because I did shoot that at the range. So, let's move back here, hope I don't knock down the camera. Um, what else? Magazine release. I like this grip. I really, I really like how it feels in my hand. Picatinny rail. Um, oh, let's see. Let's, let's see. See, there's an O-ring around it, and it's well oiled up. The barrel is, and it is ambidextrous. So there is another fully ambidextrous, at least as far as the slide release goes or slide lock but um it's about 
far as that goes. So pull the trigger. Um, I think there is a way to take it down. I haven't taken it down before, but we're gonna try it out. So hopefully maybe we can get it on camera. Kind of tough though. There we go. Kind of have to poke it out. There we go. All right. Slide that off. So here's the frame. Built differently than other friends, but definitely built built differently than the other frames I've seen. But um, there it is. There's the takedown lever or slide lock. And here is the slide with the recoil assembly. It has this polymer thing on it. Should help. And here is the barrel. Oh, let's take that out. There it is. So that's what it looks like. Oh, that's this weird silver thing on there. But there it is, has the O-ring on it, and it's well polished, nicely polished. So I'm just gonna pop it back, back in. There it goes, it takes a while to get it back. But it comes back in. Hopefully, hopefully I can get this back in correctly. There we go. Think we got it. Yep, I think that's it. Yep, that's back in. Whew. Sorry about the camera work, guys. This is kind of rough. Hopefully, I got it right. But, but yeah. Grab it, uh, pop it in on the side. Uh, there you go. There you go. Back together, and that's about it. Um, I'll go shoot at the range eventually, but we're gonna try to figure out how this thing works. Try to get used to it. But um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time I make an upload. Peace.